Yo, what's up guys, Grafix, hey, yeah, yeah, and today is gonna be a Cinema 4D tutorial, um, this is going to be about, uh, how to make a cracked text in, um, Cinema 4D, and you will need, you will be required to have a plugin for Cinema 4D for this, which is Xbreaker 171, um, you can download this from my toolbar and my toolbar link will be in the description so once you download that what you do is you will have you will be you will need winrar to extract the file so what you do is extract the file as as you can see I have done on screen and you will be you this is what you will need you'll need xbreaker 171.csc file now what you want to do is copy that and then head over to your computer and your C drive or your hard drive um, program files and look for maxon so m a x and o n and then go into wherever whichever one you have so if you have r12 i have both so i'm going to be using 11.5 for this tutorial so 11.5 go to library and scripts and paste it there and once you paste it there when you open up photoshop i mean not photoshop um cinema 4d you will have it there, X Breaker. So cool, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's so cool. Alright, now to add, I want to show you how to, you guys use this on a text. <coughs> so, I'm just going to change my render settings for now to 128E by 720. And I'm going to save it in my desktop as cracked. 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 <laughs> and the uh, format will be PNG. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, and alpha channel because maybe I want to use this on a background. I don't want a background. So now what I'm going to do is head over to MoGraph and add a text object. They need blood. <laughs> All right. Alrighty mateys, what you got to do is um, now you have got your text, you want to go into your line and put it to the middle. And now you got your text, you just write what you want, so I'll write CRACK, I'll write in all caps, CRACK, and then change the font. The font I will be using today um, is... Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I'll be using um, uh, of all these bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Where's bada boom at? Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Looks so cool. Oh my god! Hello, Craig, you ugly beast. Uh, all right, yeah. Now what you wanna do is change the depth in it. The depth is how thick the text is. So I will make that eighty in it. As you can see, it is bare thick. Look, can you see that? It's bare thick, isn't it? Alright. Now, alright, some of you guys may ask, just to get this clear, why I am acting more silly and more of an idiot in this tutorial, and it is because of him. He has made me do this. He said my tutorials are boring, so yeah. I'll say hi. Alright, yeah. Now back to the tutorial. What you want to do is go into text object. I'm going to Windows and hit and then um, go to sorry go to plugins user script xbreaker and you want to make the pieces 21 and immediately oh no sorry make that on collision mode on collision and then just write copy everything else here and break now and this will break every single text individually so it depends how much text you got so made it um, 
the the more talks you got, the longer it takes. So yeah, let's just wait and let me sing a song for you. Oh the fuck! Oh there you go. <coughs> but you can see the cracks there. But if you render it out, sad face, sad face, no cracks. Everybody got a sad face. All right, now I'm joking. <laughs> But yeah, um, th there's a C, there's the R, there's the A, there's the C, there's the K. Yeah, yeah, look, they're all different. So now, what you want to do is to make the cracks, you want to go into MoGraph, random effector, random, totally random, and now highlight every single one of them by pressing sh sh clicking at the top one, then holding shift to click on the bottom. And then dragging it so this arrow comes. People call it making the child of the random effector. I don't know. I don't know how random effector gives birth or anything, but yeah, making the child. Now you have done that. You want to click on random effector. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. And you wanna. My bad. You still want to highlight all of these. You want all of these highlighted. And you're going to Effector. And click, drag that there. So you, alright, I'll, sh I'll show you guys that again. So, what you guys have done is, um, added the more graph random effector. And you've made all of these, um, te in the text, the child of the random effector. And, now what you want to do is, whilst all of them are highlighted and another tab will come up here called effectors so now you all you need to do is drag random effector into there and you will get this so normally it's 100 percent the original text was crack now try read that does that say track i don't know what it says you tell me all right now to change that highlight all of them again and you can adjust the the um, how much crack you want it so oh you can also um adjust each one individually so one more crack than the other and if you want to adjust them all at once then just highlight all of them at once and adjust it so this is um, personal preference to be honest but i would normally do it at five um to four percent and then now you're wondering how what is outside and inside now i'm going to change the outside color to a uh, I'll change it to black and you know you can add reflection if you want um, add reflection and there you go as you can see that changes the outside of it but the inside of it the cracked inside is still grey so now that is this one so I'll change that to a dark red and you can also add enough reflection if you want. And as you can see, if I render that out, you can see the inside is red. So that is how you make a basic um, crack text using Xbreaker. And the you can download Xbreaker from my toolbar. So link to that will be in the description. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this tutorial. And um you know comment with some more ideas of tutorials and i'll hopefully be talking to you guys again soon so peace out guys bye bye